Howdy folks, today we're going to go over the Easy Well Water Test Kit Pro from Clean Water Stores. You get a whole bunch of testing stuff. All of it comes with instructions. You have to look at the instructions and see what to do and in what order. But uh, some of the common questions that we have is for the manganese, the sulfate, and the hydrogen sulfide test strips, you get one vial and you're going to use the one vial and then rinse it out and then use the same vial for the next test and for the next test so you get one vial for the three and then you get two each of those tests so as far as that goes that's 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 the idea there is you get one vial for all three of those tests okay uh you get two eight-way tests that come like this and then when we go and open them up you've got the color chart and it tells you which order and then that one has its own jar right there too as well its own sample thing there and so you will uh, uh, fill the sample with the um, uh, with the water and then dip the uh, test strips in and it'll tell you whether to dip them up and down or to stir them side by side and then you'll be comparing them as you do with all the testing to the color chart so that's those two then we have the water hardness test kit and the test kit is uh, two drops and that's got the vial in that and uh, you, uh, add some, you add some water and then you add the drops of one and then you wait a bit and then you start adding the drops of another and uh, again follow along with the instructions and that'll determine your water hardness there as far as that goes. Now the last one is for the pH chart and the pH drops. There's your color chart to confirm and there's your pH drops that you're going to use and the instructions which are on the chart say add four drops to two ounces of water so you can use just about anything to add your drops to uh, this is about two ounces a quarter cup of water that's that's that it has to be a clear glass that you can see through uh, as far as that goes if you really wanted to measure accurately you could measure three of these which is 20 milliliters each 58 or 60 millimeters is a quarter cup so that that would be a way of doing that if you wanted something quick and easy uh, but once you get uh, once you get a quarter cup then you'd add your uh, four drops and then you'll compare it to the color chart and so for the pH the idea is you're providing your own uh, own thing there so and then the last thing that we have in the test kit is the TDS meter on the one side when you open it that's where the battery goes and on the other side is where the probe is that you'll stick into the water it measures the temperature and the TDS uh, TDS the total dissolved solids measure of salts in the water uh, so you turn it on and you put it in uh, and you put it in the water that you want to find out the TDS or the temperature of generally you're using it for the TDS Yes. And so, for example, my uh, city water here is sitting at 120 parts per million on total dissolved solids. And then I'll stick it in my OR, uh, R, uh, excuse me, RO, reverse osmosis, and it drops down to about six or seven parts per million. So it tells you that the thing is working if you sample it on two different waters. But that's basically how that works. There is, uh, in the box that this comes in, there is a little instruction sheet going to tell you everything you need to know on it. And that's the basic things, folks. Like I say, the main overview is you're using the same vial for the uh, first three test kits and for the drops for the pH, you're providing your own, uh, you're providing your own two ounces to measure it into. That's about it. Thanks.